Hi everybody, it's Frank Felver here from Venice Beach, California. Now I lie, just the top, I was there a few years ago. I'm coming from Melbourne, Australia, and it's cold, very cold. What we're going to do is we're going to do the Coldplay song today, The Scientist. It tells a, a story of, um, well, Chris Martin, apparently it was about a scientist losing the love of his life. That's, that's, that's the story that I've heard. So anyway, it's a beautiful ballad. Let's get the guitar out and start this song. All right, it's not very difficult. Okay, normal tuning, there's no drop downs. We've got the caper already set up on the third fret. Everything we say is going to be relative to the caper. Okay, the song rings out to the key of D minor. Instead of doing the usual D minors and the B flats and the Fs that we normally do, what we do is we caper it and we get that rich texture by putting it on the third fret and we do some variations on the D minor seven. Remember, there's a lot of ways of doing a chord on a guitar, okay? And this song is piano driven, so we've got it in, in a way, we've got to just lift it up a little bit, give it a little bit more of a richer feel. Okay, so the first one we do is a D minor seven. Okay, now what we do for the D minor seven is, you can play this a number of ways. What some people do is they, they, they play it like so. What we do is we have a pressure point on the high E, we have another pressure point on the G, Okay, on that, just on that second fret. And then just above it on the fifth, we have another pressure point. Now we could use those three fingers, but what I tend to do is I like to leave that first finger free because if we have to do a bar later on, if we're playing another song, we're sort of got to, we've got to move awkwardly, okay? So what I tend to do is I use the formation like we do for a B7, except we just don't use that first finger we normally use for a B7. A B7's like that. We just don't use it, and what we do is we use the pinky on the high E. We use our ring finger on the G, just above it there. And then we use our second finger on the fifth string. We put them all together. From the fifth down, it should ring nice and clear. Now what we do on this song is we mute the top sixth string that bass note because we don't really need it use our thumb and just mute it so it should sound like that okay and it should just sound like that okay nice and clear so that's the d minor seven we use that a little quite a bit there's two verses in this particular song it's not difficult it's just a verse and a chorus that's all this song is um the second one we do is a g now we've done g a few times what i'd like you guys to do is to do do the four finger G like we've normally done in the other songs. Just don't use that third finger, okay? We use the pinky on the bottom sixth string there on the third. Our second is on the sixth string there. And our first is on the fifth. Okay, and we just slide that over. And it gives it that nice melodic ring that Chris Martin has put in this song. Okay, so it goes like that. Then go to the G, slide it up. See how it, it's a nice subtle slide. We do the G. The second is the G. The third is the D, the way we normally do the D. I shouldn't have to explain it. I'll go over fairly, fairly quickly. The second is on the high E. The first is on the G like that, nice and parallel. And the third is on the B. From the fourth string down, we do the D. That's the, the third chord in the sequence. Then the fourth is a D sus two. All we do is we just lift our second finger up to give it that nice ring that uh, is in the song, okay? So what it should do is that. One, two, three, four, okay? We get that down. The strumming is in an eighth note pattern. Okay, so it's not very difficult. Then on the second verse, it's still an eighth note, but it just speeds up a little bit. It gets more melodic. What I tend to do in the strumming on this particular song is I palm mute it there on the bridge, and I just strum a little bit below the sound hole. What we should do normally when we play is we should just do it nice and smoothly over the sound hole when we normally play, but because the way this song has been written, it needs some variation. It needs to be very soft at the beginning and nice and delicate. So I just do down strokes and I palm mute. It goes like this. Two and three and four. Two 
See how it makes it nice and soft? You might want to pick it yourself or you might want to start it on that palm muted and pick it. But when you do go into the second verse, I would urge you, it does get very melodic and it lifts and the actual band comes in at that point of time. So you can't be doing this, uh, uh, this strum muting if the band comes in. You've got to give it a little bit more of a melodic feel, okay? So we'll do a little bit of it. It goes... Come up to meet you Tell you I'm sorry you don't know how lovely you are I had to find you Tell you I need you Tell you I set you apart Tell me your secrets And ask me your questions Okay, so it just does four sequences of those four chords that becomes a verse that becomes one verse those four chords four times then we go into the chorus it does just does a G you can do the G a few ways I don't particularly care maybe do the three finger G like that nobody said okay we just do the same notes as a G on the chorus starts off on the on the G actually it's a B flat but remember we got the caper nobody said it was easy then D Oh, it's a shame for us. D sus too. Again. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever. D sus too. Be so. The A. Okay, now on the A, what we do on the A is we have our second finger on the fourth, our third ring finger directly below it on the G. And our pinkies on the B, all in that one fret, we have those three. Okay, and we strum from the fifth string down, because that's an A also. And then he lifts that pinky, it becomes a sus, to give it that nice melodic um, ending that he gives on the verse, and he does the same thing on the chorus. So let's do it again. Nobody said it was easy. Now it's a shame for us to part Nobody said it was easy No one ever said it could be this hard Hey, lift up the pinky I take me back to the star Now just get a little bit more melodic All we're doing is doing up, down, up, down all right we're doing the one and two but it's just a, a faster sequence the band comes here so we can't do the palm muting just do something like this same chords again as we did before just more melodic the D sus two Okay, you can get the feel of it. Then we do four sequences of those chords that we did again. Okay, there's a second verse. Then we do a chorus. Now, when he does the R uh, oohs at the end, he does four of those on the same chords as we did on the verse. Okay, just go back to the palm muting. Just bring the song right down. Ah, uh, G. Sorry, it's just the same chords as the chorus. Ah. Uh, Four of those, and then just finish on it. G. Ah, now don't worry, the, the singing, we, we're just doing the singing just to put all the puzzle together, to make all the song, so we know how everything fits in, okay? This is not a vocal lesson, it's a guitar lesson. Enjoy Cole Plays, The Scientist. I really think this is, a, this is one of my favourite songs. It's an easy song for you guys to play. Keep on punching, we're going to come back very soon with another song don't give up on your guitar okay i'm thinking i might do the whole thing and you guys can play around with me we'll see all right never give up on your guitar your guitar is your best friend see you guys keep punching <laughs>